coming and welcome to our guest speakers who come from as far afield as Cranfield. So thanks to the colleagues from the Open University of Scotland, from Blackboard, from Cranfield and from Edinburgh University. Um, as I say, this I just Carol asked me to just say a few words about the sort of future direction of technology enhanced learning in Abertay. Um, as you may be aware, we had quite a major uh, two million pound investment project uh, a couple of years ago, 2012-13, and that brought us sort of a, a range of pedagogic benefits. I think to the university with sort of increased sort of uh, facility for bring your own device, uh, lecture capture, and also most recently, uh, the university has taken a, a whole institutional approach to electronic management and assessment, uh, starting with full electronic submission for student work moving uh, next year to sort of electronic feedback and also trialing sort of uh, more traditional exams but in an online uh, setting. But that apart, there hasn't really been any sort of uh, additional policies or explicit policies and strategies around technology enhanced learning here at the So uh, at the last Teaching and Learning Committee, the university we decided to convene a new working group which will bring together all the stakeholders in the university, both academic schools and professional services, um, and we'll sort of put together a series of recommendations uh, in the autumn. So invitation letters have gone out to heads of school and service to nominate people to be part of that working group, which I think is really quite, quite exciting. It does, of course, come with resource invitations, so if I can just take an opportunity to flag up a couple of things. Uh, the next round of our ATLEF funding, that's the Abertay Teacher Learning Enhancement Fund, will go out next week. Uh, it's under the banner of student transitions, um, but of course the, the, there may well be a technology enhanced learning uh, aspect to that. But we will have a specific ATLEF call for technology enhanced learning in the autumn. Uh, and the idea there is that that will uh, follow up on the recommendations made by this working group, which will be sort of meeting uh, during the summer. So moving to today's program, um, I'm going to hand over in just a minute to my colleagues uh, Pete Cannell and Ronald McIntyre from the uh, OEPS project. Uh, then we will move on to hear about uh, the flipped classroom from Heather Smith. Then we will have, as Carol said, a, a short lunch. And then we'll move to uh, reflection, employability, and personal um, learning spaces, or in other words, e-portfolios. Uh, and that will be delivered by Robert, who isn't here yet, but from uh, Institute of Academic Development, Edinburgh University. And then we'll move on to Blackboard content and community and get an update from Alistair. And is Nathan joining us virtually? <coughs> we can be joining us virtually. And I, I should say, just to say that you know, you might be wondering, you know, where, where have these topics arisen from? Well, I think you know we did actually do some scoping work in preparation for the Teacher and Learning Committee and identified a series of priorities uh, for in terms of taking things forward at Abertain. Now the group may decide that they want to take things in a different direction, but I just wanted to assure you there was some logic here, uh, and I'm say delighted that say we've got so many external speakers to come and stimulate our thought. Uh, in that process. So I think that's really all I have to say, uh, but just now I'm going to hand over to Pete and to Ronald.